beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty Hair Extensions. Uh, so I get this question all the time. Um, and I mean, okay, I have I have I can't really answer it for you. Uh, but I decided to film this video anyways. <laughs> so basically the question is, um, uh, where do hair extensions come from? Like where do babies come from? I don't know, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so where do hair extensions come from? <clears throat> they come from a lot of places in the world, but a, a majority of the extensions do come from India or China. So um, the reason is because the population is so big. And um, in India, they actually have a, a religious practice that they um, shave their heads. The symbol of washing away the past and starting new. <clears throat> so, um, you know, they donate their hair to the church, the temple, and then the, they, the temple, I guess, auctions it off, and then companies, uh, hair companies, like from India, from China, um, collect the hair and, you know, process the hair, clean it, um, dye it, do what they have to do to get it ready, and then they make the extensions. So, whichever kind of extension that, uh, you know, there's billions of kinds, whether it be a wig or whether it be weft or whether it be, you know, fusions, whatever it is, they process it in the factory and then they ship it out to the manufacturing stores or the wholesaler stores, I mean, and um, that's where extensions come from. Uh, I know this could be a controversial issue because there are, you know, if you start to research it, you'll find that there are a lot of other um, places maybe that the hair can be collected from. Now, it's not a regulated market, unfortunately, so there is nobody watching. There is nobody um, very, you know, like with strict rules about these things. And this is why a lot of times when you get your, your new Brazilian hair extensions that you ordered and you spent an arm and a leg for, they actually maybe aren't coming from Brazil. They're maybe probably still coming from India or China and just being labeled as that. So there's no regulation, so they can put whatever they want on the package, unfortunately. So it is very, very difficult to know exactly where they're coming from and, uh, and how they're being collected. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about this. Um, you feel free to do some research or not. Uh, I know whenever a client asks me, I often tell them the story and then they say, you know what, I don't want to know, I don't want to think about it. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you are wearing someone else's hair, so whether it gives you the heebie-jeebies or not, or whether you're think, thinking about the mm -hmm. ethical, the ethical uh, reasons mm -hmm. for whether you want to get them or not, you know, that's up, completely up to you. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information based on my knowledge of where hair extensions come from. So that's about it for this video. It was just a quick little one. Um, but... Uh, that's about it. If you guys have any suggestions at all for me for the next one, I'd love to hear some uh, some some video ideas. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a great day, great afternoon, great week, great month. <laughs> but we'll see you again in another video. Bye.